Good morning. It's Chip and Molly from Stressless. And uh, today is our last day here before we head back and do some home stuff. But I wanted to get uh, one of the items uh, so I know what I'm doing and know what we have and what the problem is. A furler that's very, very stiff. It's noted on our survey and really don't feel comfortable even really putting the jib up with it as stiff as it is. So what I've done is I tied up a couple knots on the aluminum sheathing that goes up. I took out this screw from this uh, little stopper piece of this foil and then it slid down and I went ahead and slid it down, lined it up, put it in another hole because what I was having a problem with was actually lifting this furling sleeve out of the furler. I would only get it to about the bottom of this, so I couldn't get it all the way off the furler. So I moved this stopper one down a, a notch and then undid the two screw bolts that are up in here, stainless bolts. Now I had a little problem with one of them, uh, stripped it. So I got the bolt out, but it's still wherever that hole is, is um, uh, got the old one in there. I'll have to drill that out at some point. So what I did was I let the whole thing come back, come down to the stopper, which was lower, put another bolt in. Then I was able to lift this whole thing up an extra six to eight inches. And you can see there's the four stay going through the middle. And what we have is basically the furler goes around the four stay here. And there's a five millimeter hex nut that goes in there that came off okay all right so here's the furler and here's how stiff it is it takes two hands basically to turn it so i know the top part swivels no problem spins right around you can see that turning as i turn it no big deal but this bottom line it is stuck as it can be so this is the fackner LS200, the way it's on here is onto the bolts here, big bolts onto this retaining piece. And looking back down at the stay, the stay goes all the way down to the bottom here. So this is the linkage to the right onto the four stay. So all this is kind of just around that cable. So ideally, I think we'll support the mast with a couple of these lines, lash them around this crossbar somewhere close to up here, maybe with both of them. We've got a jib halyard and a spinnaker halyard. Uh, which we can do that with and hopefully take the tension off of this for stay. We're going to obviously order a whole new or get a whole new Facnor roller rolling drum here. So when we get the tension off this for stay, we should be able to take these big bolts off, take that out. This whole thing will come down and the furler will basically come right off of this. We'll put a couple bolts up here, we can do it a couple ways. We'll take that off, put the new one up in there, put it back on, and that will replace it. At the same time though, we're going to just double check this little bit of corrosion here. I'm going to pull this plate off and uh, double, double check this uh, metal piece here. And we may adjust the, uh, adjust the whole rig to be a little bit more forward. But because these two dissimilar metals are touching each other here, it's probably not that good getting a little corroded. That's it. Chip and Molly on Stressless.